Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. First of all, we reached 50k here on this channel and I'm just so excited and happy because when I first tried to get into the YouTube thing, I always felt that I didn't belong here in a way, although I really love this platform because I just couldn't get myself to be consistent on this platform I don't know why, maybe because it's so demanding like recording and editing I think it's harder than any other platform and also because I always felt like a good YouTuber needed to be a person that has like a whole lot of personality and it's not that I don't think that I have a good personality just because usually I'm a shy person but I decided to try to be consistent and try to show you guys who I was and I'm just so happy and proud that my YouTube family recognize me for who I am and accept me for who I am so thank you guys so so much for being here for me and for subscribing to this channel okay now for today's video I have a cute little set here because I'm going to do kind of a haul mixed with styling tips so the idea for this video and it's an idea that I wanted to do for a while now because of the whole quarantine thing and working from home I've been seeing more and more people getting into the comfy dressing and that's basically what I wear 90% of the time I like to go sometimes a little extra on my outfits for Instagram and stuff but like 90% of the days I'm just wearing comfy fits and I thought I should just come here and show you some tips on how to dress comfortable and cute that's what we are going to do today and also this video it is not sponsored by Axel Arigato but they were kind enough to send me a few pieces this week so I was so happy about it that I decided to just style the pieces that I got on the mail and show you guys as well so I'm going to do a little haul first and show you what I got and then take these pieces and style them in a very comfy way so let's start this Okay guys, so first things first, I told you that I was going to show you a little haul first. Axel Arigato, they are a streetwear brand and it's not like the most expensive but not the most cheap either. It's kind of in between so it definitely gets that vibe of a high-end brand like the fabrics and the quality of everything but I think it's a good price for the quality. Also something very cool about them is they are always dropping new stuff. I think every Wednesday they drop a new product which is also really cool. I'm a sucker for a good packaging so I was really happy when I saw this. 10 out of 10 for packaging and here are the shoes. These are the Marathon Runner. I really love these sneakers. They have a ton of colors that I would like to have but the full-on whites I think are the easiest to style and it's just like I'm also a sucker for white shoes. So yeah, these are like perfect and they fit true to size. Now for the second pair of shoes that I have here it's a little bit different. It's not as much of a that shoe and running shoe vibes these ones are much more in the classic vibe almost tennis shoes it has that 80s 90s vibe they also run through the size yeah these are really cute as well now for the clothing i have three different pieces to show you and by the way when you search the website all this clothing appears to be in the men's section but they are like unisex you can wear if you're a woman too the first one is this very vintage looking t-shirt it has like a print saying hi mom which i thought it was so cute i always love t-shirts that have like the vintage vibe but lately i've been so into the white and beige style of vintage t-shirts because i have a lot of black vintage t-shirts but white ones are a little bit harder to find but i've been definitely loving that style lately i got this in a size large i love to buy my t-shirts and sweatshirts in like large or extra large to get an oversized fitting so yeah i think this was a special edition for mom's day now the second piece is actually a hoodie and i just love hoodies so much like oversized hoodies and this color is very beautiful it's like a light nude shade like a beige and it says arigato here arigato 14 and the same on the back but in huge letters i just love basic hoodies and i love that these ones are like basic but they have the extra flavor because of the print but yeah overall i just think it's so cute and the third item is actually the same hoodie but in tie-dye i've been uh, so obsessed with tie-dye and lately when i try to find something tie-dye mostly everything is out of stock i actually got the hoodies in size extra large so yeah really going for the oversized 
vibe. Okay guys, so I showed you all the items from Axel Arigato and now I'm going to style them. So feel free to adapt the next tips to any t-shirts and hoodies you have at home. Without further ado, let's style this. Okay, so the first item I'm going to style is actually this t-shirt. And there's a lot of different possibilities you can wear with a vintage style baggy t-shirt like this one. But today I decided to go with jersey shorts. They are kind of like joggers but in shorts and going for a monochrome look when you're dressing comfy is like one of the main things which actually helps to look a little bit more polished. Now, if you wear it like this, it will look like a pajama. So first thing is to tuck the t-shirt inside the joggers. Tucking the t-shirt inside the shorts will definitely give it a lot more shape and another good tip is to always buy the joggers and shorts one or two sizes above your regular size because as you can see if they were like really tiny this wouldn't look as good and another tip here is to just fold the sewing border here another good tip when styling sweats and comfy looks is always to accessorize a lot today I'm styling this with these gold hoops right here some gold thin necklace and this one which is a little bit more chunky. Also something very important is the socks. I know most of you probably don't think about which socks are you wearing but like thin socks like this one actually don't look very cool but lately I've been loving slouchy socks really ribbed and slouchy almost like dance socks and for this outfit I'm going for the marathon runner shoes. This is a full fit. I think this is more like a summery sporty tennis vibe. I really love the shoes and the socks. I love the t-shirt and the jogger shorts. I would probably just wear this to grab like groceries and even take pictures for Instagram. And if you want to go out, you can add a little black shoulder bag. So yeah, this is how I style the first comfy outfit. I'm going to be styling is actually this nude hoodie right here and for this styling I really want to do like the full tracksuit vibe it will look a lot less interesting if you have a different color pants like these ones so my tip for this is once again to go monochrome okay much better and one step further that you can take is just to take one side of the hoodie and just tuck it in here and then let it fold on top of the joggers and it will create a much more cool look once again accessorize with some gold jewelry and also another tip for hoodies is the hair i always like to go for a bun when i'm wearing hoodies i think it just looks better and it creates more dimension over here otherwise it's just a full amount of stuff going on on your neck so just go for a little bun for this look i'm going with the 180 sneakers instead of the marathon runners because I feel they have more of a classy vibe and it's going to balance really good with the tracksuit this is actually my first time trying these sneakers and I'm really loving them so this is basically how I would style this hoodie and something else that you can add here is just a fanny pack I actually have this one from Pricks Workshop and you can just add it here crossed over the hoodie to create an even more streetwear vibe like the full monochrome sweat set is like my go-to I actually wear this like 80% of weekdays So the last item I'm going to style is actually the same hoodie but in tie-dye and since I already styled shorts and pants I decided to style skirts something that I find really really comfortable and that it's such a big part of my personal style is pleated skirts and especially if they have like shorts underneath so you can feel very comfortable in walking with them and just being relaxed and for that I have just the perfect skirt which is this Nike white pleated skirt. Nike doesn't have it in adult sizes so I actually had to go to the children's section for this. I went to the junior section and I actually bought myself a size 
large and they worked fine so I'm pretty happy with my purchase and it has shorts underneath so you're pretty much safe with us so yeah this is basically how it looks I really love this skirt so I have a cool technique that you might not have heard about it yet usually I would just tuck a t-shirt or whatever underneath my bra and it works fine but when it's an oversized hoodie it's just too much fabric to be under your bra so what you can do just to take a pair of tights and just tie them just like this and then you start rolling the hoodie around the ties and just roll it a couple more times and you're done you have like a cropped hoodie so it looks much better than before and I'm gonna go back with the marathon runners for this one I think they look just so cool on this outfit and then to finish this styling I will actually add a huge fur bag that I have that I absolutely love and I think it's going to look amazing here because it's blue as well this is like a perfect bag I think this is from doll skills actually and I just think it looks so good on this outfit so yeah this is how I style the tie-dye hoodie guys there you have it three different comfy fits and a lot of styling tips for you guys to try at home and dress comfy and cute give it a thumbs up to this video if you want more styling videos like this one and let me know down in the comments which type of styling do you need the most help with thank you so so much for watching and also thank you to axel arigato for the cute stuff don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be a part of our super cute family and i guess i'll see you guys on the next one bye